Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. We're back with another What's Sold. This is going to be uh, a part one, basically a three days worth of sales, I guess, for the week. Um, nothing really crazy, a couple of higher dollar items, some hundred dollar items, stuff like that, but a lot of common bread and butter stuff that hopefully you'll be able to find out there when you're reselling and kind of make a few bucks on. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Just so everyone does know though, we are back now from our vacation, which was awesome. It was a great time. In my last video, I kind of at the end of it had some photos of some of the, the some video and photos of some of the stuff we had done the the stream the lake and kind of stuff like that so hopefully you guys did enjoy that those that watched um, it was a great place I highly recommend going out to June Lake or the Mammoth area in California if you can for a vacation it's just beautiful uh, a little hotter in July than normal normally uh, in June is a little bit cooler which is nicer but I'm um, definitely a great time so if you're in the area or have a chance to go there I highly recommend it so let's get into it though that's why you're here to see what sold. So starting off with an Apple iPod. This is a fifth gen, which the fifth gens do a little better. It's a 30 gigabyte and it didn't actually work. Um, when you plug it in, uh, the screen like lights up and then goes black. Um, I know some people can fix the iPods and stuff like that. I don't really mess around with it. Um, this one was a 30 gig, which is still a pretty good size and I got 23 shipped on it. Um, the fifth gen ones do well, especially the 80 gigs. And if they work, you can make some really good money. Here's a PS2 game, it's called Gun. Um, I sold this one for $8.49 on sale. It's been up for a little while, you can tell by the background that's being used. Um, but this game always seems to sell for me. Usually I get around 10 bucks for it, but this one took a while. Um, I usually do list it, because for whatever reason, people come after it and buy it. Here's a Honda Civic manual. This is a 1993 Honda Civic um, OEM repair manual. This is one I thought would go pretty quick. It's a pretty common car, a lot of people like to race around in these little old Civics, so I figured someone would want it. It finally sold on the best offer of 50 shipped. So that's from the $500 manual buy. Uh, a bunch of CDs, I had bought a huge collection of CDs, um, and there were a bunch of these Pepe Aguilar CDs in there. Um, I ended up lining them all together versus selling them separately, which you can do with CDs. If you find a lot by a type of artist or a certain genre of music, you can kind of lot them together. These ones ended up selling the best offer at 32 ships. So basically four bucks a CD, which is pretty good for me. I'm happy with that. Uh, medium mail shipping probably cost us four or five bucks and they're on their way. Here's a Just Dance summer party for the Wii. 15 bucks on this one. Obviously with the quarantine, everyone has seen kind of an increase in video game pricing. This is one that I didn't think would be as valuable as it was, but 15 shipped for a used Wii game is always good for me. Uh, here's a Ricky Williams. This is an orange Miami Dolphins jersey. Um, he played there for a little while and kind of went off on some, um, I don't know, personal adventure out to the to China or somewhere. I don't know. He was kind of like, just left football for some reason. And um, his jersey, for whatever reason, still sells. So he didn't play there too long. He was a great running back, played for the Saints as well. But this is the orange variety Dolphins jersey, which is a little bit more desirable for some because it's a unique um, I paid five bucks for this at a thrift store or maybe a garage sale. Um, it wasn't in perfect shape. It had some cracking, but it ended up selling for 32 ship, which I was pretty happy with um, getting 32 bucks out of a used jersey. I bought a auction from uh, Shop Salvation Army. They had like an auction site. I, I mentioned this before. I don't know if they still are doing it. I have enough inventory now where I'm not really sourcing online, but um, basically... Uh, when, I, when the quarantine first started, I was buying a lot of stuff on... Oh, sorry the light back that way um i was buying a lot of stuff on this auction site and i ended up um getting a bunch of these apple keyboards there were probably like six or seven keyboards they were all as is this one sold for 34.99 i paid 110 ship for all of them the problem was is that two of them didn't work they didn't know if they worked they thought they did but everything was sold as is so in the end i'll probably make 60 or 70 bucks profit when i sell them all but I was hoping to make a hundred and something if the other two would have worked. But this one went for 35 shipped. Didn't cost too much to ship, probably like eight bucks or super light. Uh, here's an Epson ink. This is a 786. A while back, we had bought a bunch of Epson ink. We bought five Amazon, big size Amazon boxes full of ink for 500 bucks from um, someone my wife knows. Basically, it was, they acquired it, I think, from like an auction or something like that. And it was all damaged boxes for the most part. They had scuffs on them. They were starting to kind of get damaged, but the ink was still sealed. Um, this is one of the leftover ones we have. It sold for 20 shipped. We we spent 500. We probably sold $3,500 worth of ink within a couple of weeks. Everything just moved out. And most people that bought them, bought them um, in bulk. Like I put, you know, a multi-quantity of 25 and someone bought all 25. I'm guessing they were 
reselling on Amazon maybe or something like that. And that's where they bought them in bulk. But a bunch of people bought a bunch of bulking for me. So it was a really easy sale. Uh, but we had a couple that either I didn't list right away or had the quantity wrong. And now I went back and finally fixed them. So um, here's some Nancy Drew books. These ones sold for 54 ship. They are library books. So you can see maybe on the sticker, the spine there. Sorry, the light's giving us a little weird glare. Uh, that's kind of annoying. But um, yeah, so they uh, there's 29 of them. But they have a little sticker there from the library. Um, those ended up selling for 55 shipped. I paid 15 or 20 bucks for a box of books. I sold two different sets of Nancy Drews. There was an older set that I sold plus this one. Plus, I think I got some Harry Potter books and a couple other weird things in there. But 55 shipped was a great deal on those. Happy to get rid of them. Here is an Amway Polarator, a little vibrating massager. I did not have the type of power cord it needed. It was an older one. I sold it just kind of in the condition as is, and it sold for $16.19. I think I just threw it in a buy at storage unit guy, and then I think that um, it probably worked. These things are pr probably pretty reliable, but someone bought it. I don't know if they bought it for their collection or to actually use, but uh, 16 19 it did go in a pad of flat rate, though the thing was so heavy, so I didn't make a whole lot on it. Uh, Breadman TR600 pan. These ones always sell really well. This one sold for $24.29. Um, it does go first class for me. I've mentioned this before. When I sell these pans, guys, bubble wrap them, put them in a bubble mailer or a poly mailer, and I send them off. Keeps them under the pound mark. Um, and so far, no complaints. They're pretty sturdy. I do use a decent amount of bubble wrap to really get them safe, and so far it's been okay. Uh, here's a Hill Street Blue, sold for $8 as a Season 2. It's brand new sealed. Um, this one I got, uh, actually my birthday a couple years ago, We went, I went up to a garage sale. We were going to look at some houses, like model homes. My wife likes to do that. And on the way I saw a sale, and I bought a bunch of media at $0.50 cents each. And this is one of the last ones that I have left, and it sold for 8 shipped. A uh, vital wrap system is kind of like the Bregg Polar Cares, like that you when you have a knee surgery or something like that, like you can get this wrap and it puts the cold water and ice and everything and it kind of keeps the injury, injury location, I guess, cool or whatever. Um, this is one of those. I bought it for 10 or 15 bucks at a Goodwill. It was complete, but the lid was actually broken. There's like a little, the motor lid was broken. It wouldn't clip down. I didn't realize that at first. Uh, so when I got it back home, I was disappointed to find out the clip was broken. I ended up selling the hose separately for like 28 bucks. I sold the wrap separately for like 25 bucks, And then finally this guy sold for $25.40. And this is just the container. It was big. It cost us like $13 or $14 to ship it. So we didn't make a whole lot, but it was the last piece left. We ended up parting it out. So even though it ended up being kind of a bad buy because it was broken, we actually still made enough money where it was worth selling all that. And it kind of made a, a bad deal kind of a little bit better. So definitely look for ways to part out some stuff. If you get something that's broken or if it didn't turn out to be as good as you thought, see if you can make a few bucks off things to, um, you know, make the deal a little better for you. Here's a Brixton uh, felted wool hat or something like that. That's, I copied someone else's listing. It seemed to be the same one I had. This one sold. It was a small uh, size 7. This one sold for 40 shipped. I paid 5 bucks for this. I got like 4 or 5 hats from one of my sources couple of cowboy hats this one and then another one and they were five bucks each and this was the first one to sell at 40 shipped uh, which was pretty good i think i did get good feedback as well which was nice um here is a dvd i got from a thrift store i paid 2.99 for this it was brand new sealed it's the carol burnett show um seven disc set or whatever this one sold for 16.14 on sale um, if it's a brand new DVD, I'm willing to pay up a little bit for it if I can get 15 or 16 bucks because it's just so easy to list and easy to ship and ended up paying off. We probably made eight or nine bucks on it, which is pretty good for a used DVD. Uh, Love Story by Eric Siegel. Uh, this is a book I got from an old book buy I had. Um, I had it listed at eight shipped, ended up selling on sale for $6.79. Um, turned out to not be that great. I thought it would sell pretty quickly because a lot of them were selling, but Mine took forever, so wouldn't recommend this one. Wouldn't list it again, but always happy to move it and make a few bucks. Uh, Twisted Metal 3 for PS1. It's a really great copy disc, but the actual artwork is faded. You can probably tell um, by the picture. And ended up selling for 18 shit. I think we paid a buck for this, so it was a good deal, but um, could have got a little bit more maybe if the um, artwork wasn't so faded. Some Jurassic Park, Pokemon, and Sonic socks. These ones sold for 19 bucks, a little bit under that. I mean, I got a dollar a piece. These, I've mentioned it before. A dollar a piece. We bought a whole bulk thing of socks. These ones, I think, still go first class, so they probably cost us four or five to ship it. And we made five, six, seven bucks in the deal, which I'm okay with. Uh, we've made a lot of money off these socks. We still have some left. Uh, it was a really great buy. 
uh, 90s designs Disney designs goofy shirt um, this one uh, I paid a dollar for at a garage sale didn't have any stains around it was a really good shape um, it was like a large extra large like one of those ones where it's a kind of list both sizes I ended up taking a best offer of 25 shipped on it which I had it listed at 40 I usually list some of my clothing items higher if I'm going to take offers and that way if someone comes through and offers something like this 25 I can know that I'm getting a pretty good deal for a used shirt and they feel like they're getting a pretty good deal as well so 25 shipped I don't remember if I got feedback on it but I did it was not returned so that was awesome uh, some Disney coins I've mentioned these before guys we're going to be selling them for a while these ones sold for like seven or eight bucks on sale we have probably a hundred of them in total and we've sold through six or seven lots so far so still got a bunch left uh, some shirt tails plush I got all these from a sale I bought um it's called an AG bear look it up if you want but it's over like 70 or 80 bucks and there are these little shirt tail guys here my son found them actually and um, we lotted them together at $22.99 free shipping but they finally sold on sale at 10% off for $20.69 they're super small I don't like this big and they're really light so they went first class so we made a little bit of money on them we probably had 50 cents in each of them so it turned out to be a pretty good deal there are more of them they're from the 80s I guess Hallmark made them but I'd never seen them before that Here's a Polaroid 779 film. Um, Polaroid film still does sell even if it's expired. This one's from 94, so definitely a bit older. It sold for $8.99 shipped. Feel the packaging when you get these. Some of them you can tell something's wrong with them if it just feels kind of off. Um, this one seemed to be okay and it sold for nine shipped. Uh, here's a Sunpin Town Micro Computer Radiant Cooktop. I got two of these from storage unit guy by from a while ago, probably before Christmas. And um, this one ended up selling for 85 shipped. Um, basically, uh, there's a bunch of these little cooktops out there with different names, like someone's private labeled them and sold them at different times. Um, they're pretty cool though. I did test them out, they work. They're basically brand new open box. Um, the first one finally sold for 85 shipped. And I just realized now when I was doing this video, I had not put the quantity of two in there. So I gotta go back and update it because I have one sitting in my inventory that's not even listed. So we gotta get that one up. Here's a Reader's Digest. This is a festival of popular songs. Um, you Actually, what you see is the title and the photo are wrong. So basically what I sent out was that they, they did want the family songbook, um, but I had titled it wrong. So they saw the picture. That's what they wanted. I confirmed with them that there was an error, but it turned out so it all worked out. But this is actually an error on my part. I... Um, basically put the wrong title on for the photos and everything so it worked out though it's sold for 20 shipped i got all this from an estate sale for 30 bucks there's a bunch of these little um, song books and we've already sold i think two or three of them for one for 30 one for 20 and i think one for 15 and we have probably eight or nine left plus a bunch of other stuff so it was a good deal but this was actually an error luckily the buyer was smarter than me and knew what they were doing so that was awesome here are some Bayo Fang uh, like walkie-talkie radios. These also came from a storage unit guy buy. I went there and um, they were in this Targus like laptop case. Um, I opened it up and I was I thought it might be a laptop or something, but it was all these guys with chargers, a couple of headsets. They powered up and worked. Um, not the best brand. I mean, it's not like it's a brand you probably have heard of at least. Uh, but I ended up selling them for a hundred ship, which I was really happy with. We spent three hundred that day and. I'm sure we've probably already sold about six or seven hundred dollars worth of stuff and we still have hundreds left it was a really great buy a lot of the stuff he did not value that high he thought it was kind of the leftover junk but I just kept seeing dollar signs when I was pulling stuff out including this hundred shipped we shipped them I think for like 15 or 16 bucks FedEx they didn't go too far they were a little heavier because of the remote uh, the chart they have batteries in them and everything like that so they're kind of heavy and plus I kept them in the case they were in because it kind of made it nice but um, it ended up being a pretty good deal there. Here's a Sunbeam Hotshot water dispenser. I got two or three of these from one of my sources for five bucks each when he bought a storage unit with all brand new in-box stuff. Most of it was like uh, kitchen appliances. There were some massagers, just stuff like that. I got two, of the, I think I got two of these and both have now sold for 40 shipped. Uh, I don't know if we've already seen the other one yet, but maybe we'll see it later, but 40 shipped on that, that's an awesome deal. I think it ended up costing like eight bucks to ship it out. So, and it sold really quickly. I had someone offer 35 like multiple times and then I was just, I knew someone was gonna pay the full price and they did. Here's a Disney Mickey Mouse Porcelain Village. It's like one of those little Christmas buildings. Um, I got this in the storage unit guy buy where I bought a bunch of garage door remotes and garage door like motors and stuff. I actually have a video on it and there's a GoPro footage and everything, but 
Uh, this one I, I got in that same buy. It's one of the last things left to sell. I had it listed at 125 and someone bought it for a 100 ship global shipping program. Um, so I was happy. I, I was surprised it took so long. I had a lot of 50 and $60 offers, but this thing was in great shape. Um, and it's kind of hard to find these. So I knew I could get the right price and someone finally came through and got it. Here's one of those um, HO train kind of buildings that you can set up on your train track or whatever and kind of make it look more like a cool scene, I guess. This was um, the Walders Cornerstone Central Gas and Supply. I actually had two of this particular one. Boxes were open, but everything was sealed. This came from a big train uh, building buy that we had, and this one sold for $22.49. Um, this one it actually went first class. It was only about this big, but it's super light, so I just bubble wrapped it and put it in a bubble mailer, and it went out for $22.49. Or went out free um, first class shipping probably for four or five bucks. Uh, these Greg shorthand bucks, you're gonna see these pop up. I got a, I got this one in a particular buy that I had, um, the rock and roll buy, I believe, and this one sold for 16 ship. But I ended up getting a bunch more in another buy that I had, and this um, they they're starting to sell. So these little Greg shorthand books, if you can find them, some of them go for anywhere from about 10 to 20, 25 bucks. Um, this one went for 16. It's Greg G R E G G. So. Take a look if you see them anywhere, they might be worth your time. Arrow Fighters Assault for Nintendo 64, sold for 12 shipped. Nothing really crazy there, just a generic cartridge. Um, these have been awesome, these Yahtzee Deluxe um, dice here, like golden dice or whatever. Um, I got one of these, uh, I think for three bucks at a Savers. It was not complete. It had uh, like three of the five dice, it had the chips and it had the cup. I paid that much, but Every time I sell the dice, I sell them for anywhere from 8 to 10 depending if I'm running a sale or not. And of course, they only cost a couple bucks to ship them. And then I sell the cut for 10 bucks, and then I sell all the little chips for 10 bucks. So if you have a whole set, you can part it out and probably make maybe 60 bucks in sales at least. Obviously, you subtract shipping and fees, but if you can get this Yahtzee Deluxe for a couple bucks, it might be worth parting it out. So this one sold for 10 shipped. I think I have one more of those dice left. Here's a bunch of Yankee magazines. I paid five bucks for these at a uh, state sale. Um, they ended up selling for on sale for 68 bucks shipped. I was super happy there. The problem with magazines is, is sometimes they sell well, but because they don't go media mail, shipping can be a real pain because they're super heavy. Um, these ones ended up going, I think FedEx, and it cost us like 17 or 18, something like that to ship them. They weren't as big as regular magazines, only about this big, but um, they were still pretty heavy once they got in the box. They went to like Texas or something like that for 18 bucks. Again, we paid five bucks, so there's plenty of money to be made. Just be careful if you're buying magazines because if they're not selling for a ton and you have a big lot of them, you can really get killed in the shipping. So that's 68 on those. Uh, Radio Shack, a uh, little manual here. This is from the Tandy Buy. I had a bunch of these Radio Shack manuals. This one's sold for 16.19. Uh, just goes out in the bubble mailer. This is from the My Pet Monster Buy. Uh, I've mentioned it before. The this is a TCP IP guide, whatever that means. Um, this sold for thirty four nine nine. I did not know. I just scanned the barcode. They were selling for anywhere from twenty five to forty five bucks. I priced mine kind of right in the middle, middle of the road there, and it sold for thirty five shipped. Really happy with that. It did go out media mail. Here is probably the gem of the the lot here. This is an HP one ten portable computer laptop. Did not work. I paid $19.99 for this at Savers plus tax. I may have gotten the 20% off or 10% off. I'm not sure. It came in a little uh, laptop bag as well. Uh, the bag was actually broken. The zipper didn't work, but the it was still a nice leather bag. I sold it as is for parts. I uh, did not have the power cord for it, and it sold for $180 shipped. This thing was super, super collectible. A lot of people were selling theirs for even more if you could verify it worked. Um, I was happy because I had 20 bucks in and I got 180 shipped out of it. So that's awesome. Uh, Cannibal Corpse. This is like a t-shirt from the My Pet Monster buy. Sold for 20 bucks. Uh, sold within like a day really quick. Star Wars Legacy. These are from the $1,600 Lego and toy buy that I talked about. Um, these ones weren't worth a whole lot individually. So I lotted them together. And I took a best offer of 45 shipped. I'm really gotten through most of the Star Wars stuff from that buy. We probably have eight or nine figures left. So we're really moving through. We got a couple of Legos left. We have a bunch of Iron Man stuff left. That's the stuff that's really hanging on. But we really moved through the Star Wars stuff well. Uh, Priest Holmes jersey. This is a youth one size small. Kansas City Chiefs. Um, just a white jersey. Nothing really crazy here. I, he doesn't play for the team anymore if you're not familiar. He played a while back. He was a really good running back. Um, but I am taking a best offer of 15 shipped. We actually had five bucks in this. I bought this from one of my sources who used to sell me jerseys all the time. It was five bucks a piece basically for most jerseys. So... 
I would just buy them in bulk and I paid five bucks and sold for 15. So we'll make a few bucks, not a great deal. I don't usually like buying youth jerseys unless like a buck or so because a lot of them aren't really that desirable. Oh, here's the other Sunbeam um, Hot Shot. So yeah, I had this one did sell. They sold, yeah, they sold close together. This one sold for 40 bucks as well. We had $5 in. A Nintendo Game Boy. This is from probably one of my worst buys recently. I spent 400 bucks on a bunch of action figures and toys. Um, and I knew a little bit about it. There's a lot of He-Man and some other stuff. There was a Game Boy in here and some ro robot stuff. But uh, it wasn't really the greatest deal. I knew it wasn't. But I'm like, maybe there's some gems in here. From one of my sources, he really needed some money to go buy another unit. So I was kind of like... Uh, kind of hoping that he'd buy, find more stuff for me too so it would, it would work out both ways and we won't we'll make a little bit of money on this deal maybe a hundred or 50 200 bucks maybe uh, but it's not really worth the time this game boy was in there it did power up but it had some damaged pixels on it. it sold for 45 shipped this is really cool this is a star wars a tank turret to a big a turbo trooper van thing that we have turbo tank i mean uh, we sold that already for like a hundred and something. I ended up selling this one turret off there for just 50 bucks by itself. So awesome deal. You can find these turrets or uh, find that big turbo tank. You can actually part them out and not even sell the big one and make plenty of money. So 50 bucks there. Here's a Sharp VCR remote. I got it with a bunch of remotes that I had. This one sold for 10 shift. Uh, here's another Star Wars figure from the Star Wars buy. This is Ninkansen, Ninkana? I don't know. Ninkanas, Tasu, Count Dooku little figure set from Target. This one sold for 136 shipped on sale. Great deal there. Um, I sold a couple of the, the, these ones from Target, these exclusive ones, and they've all done pretty well. And lastly, guys, Super Matt Natural Season 10. I mentioned this before. Look out for the later seasons of DVD sets if it's a popular series. I found that a lot of times the later series sell really well, like the last season of something will sell um, versus maybe the first season of something. So like Lost and stuff like that. Usually the last season has the most value. So this one was season 10. I don't know if it was the last season, but it's definitely pretty far up there. Uh, this was a used copy and it sold for 14 shipped, which is a great deal for um, a Supernatural used DVD set. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. And obviously this is what I tell other resellers when they're like getting into my honey hole. Did you